Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play, or technically Let's Chill, PC Building Simulator. So today's this day, got the other rival, pay utility bill, fix and upgrade is tomorrow. Okie dokie. So I know I haven't done this game in a minute, so let's go check our emails, see what we got going on. New parts available, can you clean this PC? It's in transit. Urgent update required in transit. Install power king, ready to boot, upgrade not working, in transit. Hmm. A Xi'an power king 600 or better, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and clean out dust. Alright, let's try this. What do I have with me, inventory-wise? I love all these Christmas decorations. They look so cool. But yeah, I know I haven't touched this game in a hot minute. Mostly because... Oh, that... <laughs> it's a Christmas tree with a ram and a fan. Oh, this is something I would probably do. Project Clunk. Oh, man. Actually, let me see. What do I have in inventory? You know what? I'm going to just do... Uh, a save game real quick that's fine I want to I want to go back to the menu yes oh, yes I'm gonna do free build because yes that's fine what I actually want to do is get a little bit of the building itch out of my body because I have my case here now my Fantex Evolve X has arrived and it's sitting right here next to me and I'm sad because I don't have any of the other parts yet and I want to build so bad. Uh, can I get rid of this build altogether? Let's just, let's just, 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 just prop that there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you can, you can also go here. I don't like that case. I really don't like the NCXT case. Uh, yeah, goodbye. No. Pick up. Delivery is DiGiorno. Yes, so I need to pick up a PC. So let me see if they have the Fantex stuff. Or what Fantex stuff they have. Cases. Oh, they don't have it. So they have the Antec, the Be Quiet, the Antec. Be Quiet, Silent Base, Be Quiet, Silent Base. I was hoping they would have the Fantex cases. That kind of makes me sad. What other cases do you have in here? Holy moly. The, uh, the sheer amount of be quiet stuff they have in here is kind of obnoxious. Obsidian carbide spec 06 RGB spec delta spec omega, which is the ones that I have. Yes, there's my baby. Corsair, Carbide, Spec, Omega, but an RGB flavor. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build the computer I have right now. So you guys can see what I'm, what I'm working with here. All right, so I'm going to remove this side panel. Let me see. So I have... Get rid of these. I can remove this fan as well. I might as well show you what I'm working with, and this way you guys can see that I'm, uh, it's, oh yeah, I gotta remove the stupid front panel. I hated doing this in real life. It was the worst. All right, let's see. Hmm, so I need for fans, case fans, it was the Corsair. Are the LL120s in here? Yes. Delicious. This is what I have. I would like to use these. How do I use these?
Oh, okay, that's what I have to do. I'm stupid. Uh, case fans. So, I'm rocking right now. LL120s. In three different locations. I'm going to build this as close to mine as I possibly can. So then I need more LL120s. I got... One up there. Okay, fine. I will remove the top part so I can actually install the LL120. And this is actually what you have to do too. It's actually kind of annoying. To install fans up front, you have to remove the front panel. Like you can't just do it from the inside. You can't do this one from the, just the inside. It has to be removing everything. And unfortunately, like if you break something, like the front panel, it's a little plastic tab that they're not showing you. But it's like a little plastic tab here. And if you pop it right off, it, it can get really obnoxious. All right, so let's install another LL120 here. So I got my LL120s just sitting there. Those are my LL120s. I have install, let me see, motherboard. Uh, What is it? B450? Asus? Oh, wow. They don't have the Asus one. Okay, that's not good. Hmm. Two ninety nine Z three seventy. Wow, they don't actually have my motherboard there. All right, well I'll use. Well, this is another uh motherboard that I actually do own. It's just not the one that's currently in my computer. I'm rocking the Asus uh. I think it's the B450E. I think that's how it is. All right, let's install the standoffs. And motherboard. I'm actually going to reuse this Tomahawk for another build that I'm doing, but this one's for my mother. She's getting a Betty Boo themed computer. So I'm going to be using this for her. I'm probably going to give her my Corsair fans as well. Let's see, CPU processors. Uh, what am I rocking? Ryzen 5 2600. There it is. All right, so open the CPU handle. Install the CPU. Close the handle. I wish to do some thermal paste. Okay, I'm running the stock cooler. Um, is that even on here? It'd be quiet, dark rock. I don't even see it on here. Holy crap. The stock cooler is not listed. Okay. Well, it's not a tower cooler. Yeah, no, it's not in there. Okay, so I guess the cl yeah, it looked like this thing. Hmm. I guess this will work. It's the closest thing to it. Can I can I just install you now? Like, that, that's basically what it is, but not as gigantic. Cannot fit. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. What can I fit in there? No, that won't fit. Hmm. Let's 
try this one. All right. That fits. So that's close enough, I guess. So here we go. My RAM. Oh, Jesus. Is Team Group Nighthawk. I have it in RGB, but I have it in black. Oh, they don't have the black RGB, though. That's kind of silly. Oh, yes, they do. I mean, faster speeds, but close enough, I guess. Oh, no, the cooler is going to be an issue. I can feel it. In my bones. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to slightly change this up. Fits this PC. Where's the second one? Yeah, it's not going to fit in there. I got to remove this fan. Goodbye. So let's first let's install the RAM. Boop. Okay. So I have two of those. I have the Ryzen here. Install CPU cooling. Fits this PC. What would even fit? That makes sense. Not water cooling. As much as I wish it was. This maybe? Nope. Too wide. Arctic Freezer? Nope. Too tall. Mmm. This is a problem. Okay, whatever. I'll come back to that. So, what am I rocking right now? No. Here we go. I've got a GTX 1070. Yes, here it is. Not the 1070 Ti, but this one. 1070. Good old 1070. Oh, I hate that I have to do this every time. Why can't you just do it for me? You take up so many slots back there, buddy. There. All right, so that's basically what that is. Um, what else am I missing here? Power supply. So I've got a not an Antec, not a Cooler Master. These guys have the Corsairs. I believe I'm rocking a 650 watt. But it's fully modular, not semi-modular. Hmm. All right, whatever. I'll use the 650 semi-modular. I don't really mind right now. So I'm going to just lock that in place. There we go. And then I have hard drives. Yes, the Seagate Barracuda. I have a one terabyte hard drive. Which is going to go right there. But I guess I have to remove this first, even though you don't actually have to. Once the thermal glass, or the, the thermal, thermal, Jesus. Once the, the glass is off, you could technically... Not mean to remove that. Can't fit. Okay, can I install a component? PC parts. I wish to install the drive bay. No. Undo. Cancel. How do I do that? There we go. Install storage 
Seagate Barracuda. One terabyte. I have one of these. But I have an SSD back here. No, I have, where is it? Where's my WD Blue? I'm sure you have it in here somewhere. What am I doing? I could just do this. Oh wow, you don't actually have WD Blue in here. Okay, so I'll use one of the SSDs. It's a uh, 500 gigabytes. Do you not have a 500 gigabyte SSD? Okay. I guess I'll do with 480. Close enough. I'll do the Patriot Burst. I don't know how good that is, but I have one of those in there. It's actually sitting on this side. Uh, I think that's actually it for what's inside my computer. Like this is this is basically it. And I like I said, I have the stock cooler. Install PC parts. Does the stock cooler even exist on here? It doesn't. I wish it did, but it does not. Okie dokie. So that's everything. Cable everything up. I don't really care about how nasty these runs are. Wait a second, where did I just connect that to? Did I just daisy chain my fans? Can I do that? Wait a minute. Can I, is that something I could have actually done this whole time and I did not know that? I feel stupid if I really did not know that about my own case. Oh my lord. Well, I guess the the more you know, right, guys? Can those Corsair LLs daisy chain? I don't think... I really don't remember if they could. I'm just connecting random stuff at this point. Yep, connect that to there. And that is all those guys. Connect you here. You go up here. You're going into the hard, into the actual thing. My cables are definitely not this neat. I wish they were. But this is essentially my case. Like, this is essentially what my whole computer would look like. What do you mean attach pipes? Oh, for water cooling. Okay. Uh, Put the panels back on. Yep. Side panel. Reattach. And there is a PSU shroud at the bottom as well. That's not actually being shown. I don't know why. But that is a thing. Back panel. This is where my rat's nest of cables is. And fortunately, like, for my case, this top right-hand screw is stripped. So whatever, like, no matter how much you try, it does not actually come back off. So I have to, like, twist it off of three unscrewed sides. See, that's basically my computer. This is basically what it is. Error, no keyboard. Oh, fudge. Forgot to connect that. No, not install. Cable, please. Thank you. Power off and back on. Hold to enter BIOS. Error, no operating system found. Oh, uh, yeah, because I didn't install Windows because I'm a big dummy. I need to go tools and software. USB. Connect. Power off, power back on. I got to change all these LEDs because they look nasty. It's booting up very slowly. Lighting. Yes. Okay. This is fine. Yeah, this is... This was my build. The fans already came with it. Or no, the fans I bought in the 3-pack for like 100 bucks. 
bucks, 80 bucks. I don't remember what it was. I got my SSD for five with the 500 gigabyte for like 70 bucks. I had this from my old computer, so I didn't have to pay for that. I bought this used for like 300. I bought this two set as a two by eight gig kit. That was $80 for 3,200 megahertz. I forgot what I paid for this. I forgot what I paid for that. But I know I got this with a bundle with the actual, uh, with the actual, uh, motherboard. And I have select all lights. I had everything set to red at the moment. That's literally what I have my computer on. And I have it on ramp. So it kind of does like one of these. I want it to be slow. Like super slow. There you go. I have it basically doing like one of those. I guess that would be the closest thing to breathing. Like I have it doing like that. So let me go ahead and put it on breathe, apply. There we go. That's essentially, <gasps> no. Install, put that back, put that ca that case back. This is essentially what my current computer is. And it, I still love it, but it's just not the power that I needed. I, I spent less than $1,000 to build this thing. So I was still super proud of it, and I still love it, but uh, no. I, I need better performance. I need a lot better stuff. It's a shame I can't build the one that I'm actually going to build, but that's going to be a video in its own right. And I know this video is super short and it seems like a cop out, but this because it is. Uh, I got to get ready because I got to head out soon. So I will catch you all here next time, everybody, on Let's Chill PC Building Simulator. If I ever decide to do this again, I might just be like, Let's Chill PC Building, not simulated. And I'll just do a whole video of me just building my new computer. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.